David, how are you? Oh, good. I was having a little trouble with the, with the buttons there, but we're, we're here now. It's all good. I, I think everyone's perpetually still getting used to Zoom and all that. Yeah, well, on a day like today where it's raining so hard, it's okay. Where are you? I'm in LA. I'm looking at the rain. Are you yeah. LA? Yeah. yeah, I'm in LA. So it's nice, but it's it makes people freak out uh, driving in LA. <laughs> I try not to, but yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me and congratulations on this latest movie of yours. Sure. Thank you. It's um so Adam the First, you know, your your character. Uh I wonder if, you know, I was curious, was it a little tricky? You know, the character sort of complicated his role in, you know, Adam's life. So I figured, you know, when you were first approached with this project, did you, you know, did the character strike you as maybe being particularly challenging well i mean i thought <clears throat> this was a while ago we shot it we shot it a while ago and um i actually i mean it was kind of in the middle of the pandemic i mean it's how long i, I don't know if you have that in your notes or anything uh, i'm sure it's not something that uh yeah. you know the filmmakers want out there you know that it's it's, it's <laughs> but uh truth is i hadn't i probably hadn't worked in about a year and uh, because of the pandemic, and this came my way, and I just thought it was a very kind of surreal is the wrong word because it's not like it's not like uh, visually surreal, but there was something. I mean, there was something almost biblical about it. There was something, you know, not quite realistic about it, or archetypical. I don't, I don't know. So it's like some some roles you go at. And you're like, well, this is this has to be this has to feel like a real world. This has to feel like the real world. And some roles you go at and you go, I'm, I'm more playing a, an archetype or a, or a, or a, or a, you know something out of a, a Bible story or something like that. So uh, that that was kind of the that was kind of my feeling. in this was like, oh, well, this is I haven't really done anything like this um, in a movie with this particular tone because Irving. Irving, Irving has a real kind of, I, I don't know how to say his tone, but he's not, he's not slick and he's not, he's not ironic and he's not like winkingly knowing. He's really, he's, I really had the feeling he was trying to make an origin story of some kind, you know, almost, almost like, I keep saying biblical, but almost like that, almost. And I really respected, I respected that, you know, I thought that's difficult uh, to do. Um, but I'm, but I'm happy to try and give him what he needs. You know, it's not a huge role. It, it's kind of done after the first 20 pages. And I, I realized, you know, that I had to kind of set certain things up, but it was also stuff that I hadn't done before, you know, playing a guy from that part of the world and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So I, I found it to be a nice challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think a lot of people will appreciate it. You know, you've been doing, you know, you've, you've made people laugh on the big screen and small screen for years. And then, you know, you also have done these more dramatic projects. So I think, you know, I think people will be excited to see this more, you know, dramatic. Yeah. yeah it's not, again, I think Irving Franco, the director, it's like, I think he's an artist, you know, so he's kind of feeling his way through filmmaking and I think that's both uh you know it's a blessing and a curse sometimes you know especially when you do it on a low budget uh when when it would help to you know get things super quick but he's I don't think he's feeling that you know he's just really trying to feel his way through which I, I totally respect yeah yeah and I think you know Sure, maybe you don't see him again after the first 20 minutes or 20 pages but you know there have been a lot of you know, you look at a movie like Moonlight, like Mahersha Ali's character, like he's really only at the beginning of the movie, ended up winning an Oscar for that. So I think people, I think people, you know, I don't know if that's gonna happen. But but you know, it's like, uh, sure, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of it's kind of goes in that trite saying of, of, you know, uh, villains don't don't know that they're villains, you know, villain, he's not a villain. But so I would say, you know, people that get killed in the first 20 minutes of the movie, they can't act that way, you know? Yeah, <laughs> they exactly. gotta act like it's their, it's their movie for as long as they've got it. 
That's right. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, well, cool. Yeah. And, uh, you know, is there, is there, a, you know, do you hope to do looking ahead? I, it's, I was looking at your, you know, IMDB, it looks like you have some other projects lined up. Do you, yeah. do you see like, you know, do you hope to do more drama in the future or, you know, do you find yourself gravitating towards more comedic stuff these days? Um, well, it's really like project oriented for me. Like if, if the project works uh, or I think the project can work or is challenging in a way, then, then I'll, I'll gravitate towards that. I think it's funny because when I was first coming off of the X-Files, um, how many years ago, uh, I really thought, oh, okay, I've got to do some comedy because this feels, uh, you know, like people only know me in this kind of FBI role or straight lace suited role. And uh, it's funny to hear uh, to, to hear your question because I would, be, I would always get the opposite, which is like, are you going to are you going to do a comedy? But um, <laughs> I think like truly like lightning. Uh, it's a book I wrote. And it's a series I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to develop. Um, that's a uh, that's a very dramatic role. I mean, I try to. I, I mean, as an actor, I guess I, I'm always trying to bring the opposite side of whatever it is into it. Smuggle, smuggle in some comedy into a drama, and vice versa. Although I'm not sure I really had the opportunity to do that in this one, which may be a good thing. It might be. It might be an insecurity of mine that I try to smuggle that in. I don't know. No, I I think that's a good way to be. Um yeah but, uh well, yeah do if if there were ever another x files opportunity would you would you be cool with joining that or yeah i mean i'd be i probably i mean it's it it just depends on you know whoever's gonna come to me and say this is this is what we think we can do you know um you know the the question i mean personally i think like that show can expand for for any moment i mean i think it's evergreen really and so they could do a reboot without us and that would work too i think I, I think the show could always work it just depends on you know if you came to the actors and said this is how this is what we think we're doing do you think you know it's not just like a, a cash a, a grab for cash or whatever it's like not not that grabbing cash is a bad thing like you know go ahead go ahead and do it if that's what you want to do but but uh, you know, when we went back and did the the other two, I mean, for me, it was always the challenge was, how do you play this guy that many years later? I mean, it was it was like an interesting, uh, a challenge question for me is like, okay, well, I started playing this guy almost thirty years ago, twenty five years ago at that time, and then like, you can't play him the same way, you can't be written quite the same way, and, and that's interesting to me. So. I suppose as the years continue to go by, you know, that that could be a, an interesting question. Yeah. I think even if they were to like, you know, get younger, you know, younger cast or something, I think, you know, your character could still fit in there as like, you know, these. I could be <laughs> like Charlie from Charlie's Angels. Exactly. <laughs> I think you're onto something there. And that way I could just be a voice and I, I wouldn't even have to leave my home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do it do ever all your work in your pjs no one would ever yes yeah. yep yep that's a dream <laughs> that's a dream yeah i hear you and uh you know so yeah x files was so monumental millennials like myself were you know obsessed with californication and you yeah. see you see like you know tv shows like monk and i think like psych like they had their own yeah. like spin-off movie i was curious would you ever play hank moody again if if that kind of opportunity were presented to you Oh, of course, but but I think you know culturally we've we've entered into a a tricky place for that show, you know, and uh, um, not that I think that that's warranted, you know. I mean, I think the the changes in culture are warranted for sure, but I think the kind of knee jerk response to what Californication uh, would be encapsulated as uh, doesn't work right now. But then again, I always thought the show was about something else. I always thought it was about the heart of the family there and, and that kind of uh, humor. So, you know, but that's me, you know, shouting against the prevailing wind. So 
you know, if 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 your question is what I want to do it, the answer would be yes. I mean, I, I love working with those people. I love Tom Kapanos and Natasha, Pam Avon, Evan Handler, all those people. Yes, for sure. I'd love to go back to work with them. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I would definitely tune in. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, <laughs> you got some, you got, you got some people to convince, I think. All right, fine. I guess <laughs> I got my work cut out for me. Uh, and I uh, also, you know, the, I, your movie what happens later is still a buzz and i think people yeah. really, really loved your chemistry with meg ryan and yeah. you know, seeing you what what ceremony was that what you the, the globes or the well, it was critics choice Critics choice oh my god that was hilarious <laughs> <laughs> it's like Thanks. sometimes like those intros you see other actors and they can be like hit or miss but i, I just i mean people are just laughing out loud <clears throat> well it's way. totally hit or miss because you only get the one shot at it right it's <laughs> It's really like live TV. And, you know, we hadn't really, I mean, we were talking about what we we're going to do, but we, we didn't really have it figured out. And, and we realized, you know, we're supposed to come out having an argument. And then we realized as we were backstage, like we're not mic'd until we get there. So like, how are we going to, how are we going to do that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. Do, you, do you stay in touch with her? Uh... Oh yeah. 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 Makes become a good friend. That's great. And yeah. and lastly, I wanted to ask, you know, the trailer for your new project, Malice, is, uh, you know, people have been talking a lot about that online. And yeah. is there any, anything you'd like to share? I'm sure you can't, you know, spoilers or anything. But, yeah. you know, what, what if anything you want to share about, like working on that project? If oh, I'm looking I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's uh, it's about I, I think I leave for London in about a week and. Uh, um, I'm just actually the scripts open in front of me here. I'm just trying to memorize my lines uh, ahead of trying to get ahead of the game. But uh, um, you know, I think it's a really it's a really cool thriller. I mean, I'm I'm excited to play a role that's uh, this is also very different from something I've done before. I think I hope will be, and uh, I'm I'm happy to work with uh, all the people that are on it as well. So. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't. I can't give any spoilers. I, I, they, nobody's talked to me about how I'm supposed to talk about that one yet. So, okay, I don't want to get you in trouble. I just yeah, know. don't get me in trouble. Come on. <laughs> you already asked me about X Files reboot. That's all. That always gets me in trouble. All right. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I, I promise. Uh, you know. I'll you get. It. You get. No, no. I said what I said. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just, I'm such a fan of David Lynch. I just before yeah. we part ways i mean i know this was years ago at this point it still feels like it just happened the reboot yeah but jumping back into that you know very different sort of fbi persona uh, yeah <laughs> how, how is that you know 25 years later returning to the role it was just so satisfying to you know because that well first of all lynch is unique right he's just uh <laughs> he's like a, a consciousness unto himself and 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 there's something about his work that is completely like you just wreck you have to see 10 seconds of anything and you go, Oh, this must be David Lynch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and <laughs> who's like, and who's like that? Nobody, nobody's like that. Um, so um, <clears throat> when it came, came through at the time, I think I was, I was doing Aquarius at the time and I just, I just had one, one day where I was going to go down and shoot uh, that scene with David. But I was so, um, it was just such a, it was just such an occasion for me to kind of feel, you know, gratitude for, you know, instinct or whatever. Like I auditioned for that role like anybody else and, you know, didn't think I was going to get it just like I would at any time at that, at that point in my career and got it without really knowing what I was going to do and just kind of flew by the seat of my pants and did what I did. And, uh, you know, then it was 25 years later or whatever and get to do her again. Or, and, uh, you know, it was, it was funny because I, I, I wasn't in love with the way I looked. I wanted to look a little better. Like w when I got older, <laughs> you know, I just had this vanity about her. And um, so I thought, okay, I still got good legs. So I was going to like, I, I sat myself at the front of the desk for the scene with uh, David and, and I said, do you, do you mind if I sit on the edge of the desk here facing you rather than behind the desk? 
And he said, no, no, that would make me uncomfortable. <laughs> so, so I had to hide my legs too. So, but well, whatever David wants, David gets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you tried, you know, no, but that was, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a great scene. I loved seeing that she was, you know, now like in charge of everyone. I was like, that's amazing. I, and it had, it, it had one of my favorite lines. It wasn't my line, but it was, uh, it was David's line where he, he says something like, and I've said it's one of my favorite lines. I'm, I don't remember it, <laughs> but it was like, you know, I t basically the reaction to my, you know, coming out as, as that identity was, uh, you know, I told that those clowns to fix their hearts or die, you know, and it was such a, it was such a great line. Yeah. No, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. I still think about that show, so I, I had to ask. I'm su such a fan. <laughs> um, it's amazing, you know, yeah. And, and yeah, it's it's also amazing in the sense of like, you know, it's like listening to Hendrix in a way, you know, because it sounds so current, you know. Like if you, if you watch Twin Peaks, I mean, and think back, that's 1989, is it? Yeah, yeah that's network tv in <laughs> 1989 you know that's insane yeah that's insane and it feels like it could be on you know any streamer today oh yeah and that's that's i guess that's his true voice you know that's what happens when you have an authentic voice is like it can always it's always current yeah that's true. People use the expression ahead of its time. I think that's a fitting description for <laughs> something like that. I think, I think he's out of time. You know, I think that's, I think that's why, I mean, that's the way I think of that phrase is like, if you're, if you're not chasing a trend and you're not trying to, you know, speak in the voice of the times, then you are always going to be, you know, current. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. Okay. Well, thank you. I think that's all the time I have. I know cool. you busy traveling and everything so yeah, I, but i appreciate it yeah of course congratulations on this latest movie it was very nice to meet you and uh good luck with everything you enjoy the rain <laughs> you too <laughs> thanks thanks bye, bye.